everyone, I'm back with another quick Monday review and today I'm going to be reviewing the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen SPF 50. Super excited to share this with you guys, so let's get into the review. Okay, so Britt and I both picked this up on Amazon, but I believe they're going to start. I mean, it's pretty new, but I think that it'll probably be in Target and, you know, like all major retailers pretty soon. I also think it's online at Ulta. The great part about Amazon is that I feel like it's usually cheaper than other places. So we both got this for $14.50 and, you know, it's prime, so you get it really quickly. So $14.50 for 1.7 fluid ounces, which I think is amazing for a sunscreen, especially an all-mineral sunscreen. I feel like that price is really hard to beat. And it's so hard to find a good mineral sunscreen that, you know, we enjoy and especially at an affordable cost. Like, we were very excited about this. Okay, so let me just read a bit about it. It says, Cetaphil she Sheer Mineral Liquid Sunscreen for Face uses sheer zinc oxide to create a barrier against UVA and UVB rays, reflecting harmful rays rather than absorbing them. With 100% mineral actives, this formula provides sun protection that is gentle on sensitive skin. So as we've discussed in the past, um, both of us, we prefer mineral because chemical can be really irritating to our sensitive skin and it's just what we look for. And this is 12% zinc oxide, which is amazing. And zinc is also just really, like it works well with my skin. It just really calms any sort of like redness or any um, issues I have. So I love zinc sunscreens. Um, and it also contains vitamin E, it says, and water resistant up to 80 minutes and ideal for use under makeup. So let's get into the review. So I'll insert the clip now of me applying this because I think that's probably what you want to see because with every mineral sunscreen, there is usually, you know, a pretty bad white cast, especially with 12% zinc oxide. So in the clip, you'll see I use three fingers worth of sunscreen, which is what is recommended. I would say like two to three is what I hear um, to make sure you're using the correct amount to actually get the SPF 50 claim. But because I wanted to show you three to show you the white cast, I did three fingers today. And as you can see that it's very, very white when it goes on my hands. I mean, it is pretty opaque white, but then once I start to rub it onto my skin, it dissipates pretty quickly. I mean, I didn't count, but I would say after 20 seconds, the white starts to really go away and you're just left with the most like natural, beautiful finish. I am honestly just so shocked at how much I love the finish of this sunscreen. You know, I was using the Purito Comfy Water for a long time um, before that whole controversy happened over the SPF claim. And that one, you know, feels lighter on the skin and it definitely feels more lightweight and like water. This one at first feels, you know, a little heavier, but that one was more matte and this one is more glowy. And a lot of times SPF can be too glowy. I mean, um, a lot of mineral sunscreens just leave you looking like way too dewy and it's really hard to put makeup on top. But this one is just the perfect balance like in between. Like it's definitely not too matte and not like as matte as their Purito, but not as dewy as like the, um, I mean there's just so many dewy mineral sunscreens. And this one is right in between where it's like a little bit more dewy than your natural skin finish. And it really does work so well under makeup. Like I have it under foundation today and I've worn it under tinted moisturizers. I've worn it under just like concealer and it just doesn't disrupt like what you put on top of it. It doesn't make what you put on top of it look too greasy or dewy um, and it doesn't make it look too matte either. So I'm just obsessed with the finish of this. And um, as far as the white cast goes, I mean, you saw in the clip, it went away pretty quickly but we do have you know pretty fair skin we're like light skinned um, so I'm really curious to see how this is so new I couldn't really find a ton of reviews but I'm really curious of how this works on deeper skin tones so if you have deeper skin tones and you've tried this like I'd love to hear um, if the white cast does dissipate or if it does you know look not ideal on deeper skin I know that's really really hard to formulate so it can be difficult with the zinc but Hopefully the industry is moving forward that the zinc can just become more and more sheer and it can just work across all skin tones. But the actual formula of this is just so lovely. I also love the packaging. Um, it's a toddle, so a toddle is like a rigid tube and it has a needle nose applicator so it's just super easy to control the dosage which I also find with a lot of mineral sunscreens they come in like tubes where they just kind of like it's really hard to get you know you want enough to cover your face but you don't want to waste any product and so I love that this is like perfect for face application and yeah I love the packaging love the formula I honestly can't say enough good things like I said the only thing is that I really 
Um, I'm curious to see how this would work on deeper skin tones. They don't really make any claims, it doesn't seem, on the zinc. So, well, it does say, oh, actually, it does say, blends quickly into the skin without leaving behind a white cast and dries with a matte finish. Okay, so I definitely want to call it a matte finish, but like I said, it's not too matte and it's not too greasy. It's like the perfect in-between. It gives you with like a little bit of glow, but it doesn't look greasy at all. But I wouldn't call it matte. Um, and okay, so they do say that it dries into the skin without leaving behind a white cast. So we shall see. On me, it blended in definitely really, really well. But yeah, so far, so impressed with this. Honestly, new favorite sunscreen, and I'm really excited to see if other people try it and what you guys think because I think it's 10 out of 10, especially with this price. Like, I'm so excited that there's an affordable option that seems to work really well.